What's up guys, Grady here with Grady's Gear, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Tactical and Portable Tiebreaker Pry Bar. Now this was sent over to me by my buddy Kevin from Lefty EDC. Shout out to you Kevin. Thank you so much. This is his logo right here. Now I wanted for a long time to incorporate a pry bar into my EDC just to try it out, but I wasn't sure what model I wanted to go with. And I hit up Kevin because I saw his review on this and it looked pretty rad. And he was so kind enough to send this to me to test out to see if I liked it or not before I made my purchase. Now, I will tell you at the beginning of this video, <laughs> I already bought one. I love it. So, let's get into it a little bit. Let's start with the pocket clip on this thing. So, the pocket clip, as you can see, sits flush. That was a big selling point for me because I do not like the ones where they flare up like a typical knife pocket clip because when I'm bearing down on this or trying to get some torque on it, that pocket clip can really dig into my hand. That was a big selling point for me. Also on the pocket clip, you notice this hole right here, you can fit bits in there and make it as a makeshift screwdriver. So I thought that was a pretty cool added feature on this and this pocket clip is removable it does come with some torque screws right here if you want to remove it. It looks like this is like a lanyard tube right here. If you want to put it on the lanyard or hang this from your keys, that's pretty cool. I love what they did right here on the milling right here because it gives me some good grip on the pry bar. If I'm really torquing on something, that provides a lot of grip for me. I like also the thickness of this thing. This is a big chunk of grade 5 titanium. And this is anodized blue. They do come in a couple different finishes. I went with the raw titanium. They're all bee blasted and then heavily stonewashed, so it's really smooth to the touch. As you can see back here, it does say tiebreaker on the back. Now, these guys are on Instagram. You can check them out and go to their website. This thing costs $55. It's four inches in overall length. To me, that's like the perfect size. It's not too big, but it's not too small. I like the thick titanium on here, but I like the thin profile as well. Because this is gonna go in my back pocket with my EDC Hank and just slip right back into my back pocket. I'm not gonna clip it or anything. It's just gonna drop into my back pocket and sit there. This coming in at 1.2 ounces. So it's got some heft to it, but not too much. It's not you know freakishly heavy in my back pocket but it's got enough heft to it to where it feels solid at the same time. And guys, I gotta tell you, this, this thing's pretty awesome. If you don't wanna spend a lot of money and you wanna try a pry bar, check out Tactical and Portable. They're making some pretty cool stuff. They also got some like razor blades, you know, the little, little titanium razor blades. I got those on there too, but they're really known for these. They have like a dark wash finish on one that looks really cool. I thought about picking one of those up too, just to have more colors. They also have a bronze, this blue, and then the raw titanium. And they range between $55 to $65. But yeah, guys, this thing is pretty rad. I really do like it. I might do an unboxing video when I get mine in, but for right now, I've been enjoying this one. And this thing is pretty sweet. Definitely love those grooves like I said and I also want to use this for because it's got that flat tip right here I can use this as a makeshift, you know flathead screwdriver for tightening down my tripod on my camera when I bring my camera gear with me So I think it'll I think it'll fit multiple rolls for me. It's not gonna take up too much room It's not too big not too small But yeah guys, this is just a quick little review of the tactical and portable tiebreaker pry bar all right guys that's it for this one and i'll see you guys in the next one